All right, guys. So we got a new uh, my beard. We got a new uh, spot we're going to. You guys ever heard of this place? It's where Aztecs or aliens, as some say, built these uh, figures into the ground, and it is called the Blythe and Taglios. So it says, giant figures made on the desert floor by ancient men. Please be blah, blah, blah. But apparently people, supposedly, there's so many stories. I'm not too sure on which one to believe, but there's some that they really sacrifice people to the gods or things like such as that nature. So we're gonna go ahead up in and hopefully just record some stuff. This will be just a little explore video. So, let's see if there's a home ceiling real quick. This would be high if it was. Big Maria's area of critical environmental concern. Was it Intinag, in, Intaglio? The name Intilog, Intaglio is a specific type of joke glyph. It's taken from a printmaking process. The design is made by engraving or incising the surface so the image is depressed in relief below the original surface. Intaglio is created in the desert pavement by scraping away the darker surface gravel to reveal the lighter gravels. So this is what it looks like here. That was back in 1982 and this is how it looked in 1932 when I first discovered them I guess. So Blythe Intaglio's site is listed on the National Register of Historical Places and one of the most well known geoglyph sites in the country. So they're 171 feet tall. Like it says, after the Intaglios were photographed in 1932, they sustained devastating damage from off highway vehicles whose tracks are clearly visible in 19. Okay, that makes sense. So they looked all fresh and clean, and in 1982, people with uh, quads and stuff and whatnot trashed them by just riding all over them. But there's many stories about this place, and um, some people think there was aliens, and a lot of people think that it was the ancient Aztecs that uh, did this. Which is kind of weird how they made this look like a giant person. Like, I don't know. Wonder how much history is here though. Do you think there are sacrifices here? You wanna go up that way a little more? Okay, we're gonna drive up a little further and see if we could, I'm not sure if this is it right here, but we're gonna go drive up a little further to see if it, we can actually get a view of them. So let's go do that. Hopefully we could get some kind of EMF reading. If they were aliens, there should be some kind of electromagnetic reading at least on it, so. 
we're gonna do that and then uh i'll see you guys in a bit because it gets loud driving this car in the rocks okay so we figured out where it's at it took us a little minute but when you see these signs there's gonna be a chain link fence over there and you, there's this little trail that they have specifically for you to walk over there because they don't want people to drive through so they don't want people to drive through and destroy any of the land near it or anything so you get to walk over there i'm sure if you guys come here you guys wear some shoes because it's all rock and you don't want to come across a snake so we're gonna walk over there record it before the sun starts coming down even more hopefully you can see it on camera but we're on our way to it it's not that far from the the little uh, road so it's just like a little tiny quarter mile walk and then um there's two of them i think two or three there's three of them there's two humans two humans i think and there's one that's a uh animal it's a spirit animal so let's go we're almost there I didn't bring anything else. Well, I brought other stuff in the car, but probably the KT meter just in case. Some kind of, if it's aliens, maybe a EMF. Oh, look, speaking of the devil. It started spiking up right here. Maybe a, maybe a spike. So the road that's uh the main road right here is also haunted by an indian chief up the road a little bit there's this place called lost lake road it's haunted by an indian chief and there's also been sightings of a woman a magician's woman oh look right here i can see it oh this is cool this is the one of the human figures so it's look at that. That's so cool. It sucks how people destroy things such as this. Look at that. And no one knows who created this. Or no one knows why they created this, I guess. You could say. There could have been there could have been many more of these, but it probably been destroyed by people. You guys, no one really cared what it stood for or what it was. But at least there was three that are here that were uh, kept protected, which is pretty cool. But there, there could have been many more, and we just don't never had photos of them or anything that got destroyed. It's just crazy how like they were able to create this, and you can see it from the sky. Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Look at that guy. That's what it looks like. This is the human figure. Head point, his, so his head is pointing towards the south. So that direction is the south. So his he measured from head to toe 105 feet. His torso, his or his his arm, left arm to right arm span is 91 feet. That's so cool. Let's see if, uh, oh my God. That's just something crazy, you know? People will just take advantage of things like this. There's no EMF spike. If there's any spirits here, any of the spirits that created this, can you speak into my camera? I believe it was the Aztecs from what someone told me. I haven't really read into it. We did a long time ago, but then we, f we just decided to come out here. So, and we read into the information. Maybe I'll post some of the information in the screen so you guys can read up on it or look at it and then you guys could see it. But me being dumb, I don't know. So I was gonna post it in the screen so you guys could see what, what, it, what it is. I'll just put it in the screen right now. 
but um i believe it was the aztecs or aliens because we are in the desert it's all nothing but desert and this is one of the most famous sites in all the united states this is just insane i'm sorry oh, we're tripping this is just, it's like it's crazy look at this it's a human and the way they did it, it's like, I think it said on the other, th uh, that, that uh, board over there that they did it by taking off all the top layer of dirt. And then they just, you know, were able to build this. Built this. They were able to build this. This is like, this is cool. It's like, and then like the way that they put the, the, the fence around it, it looks like a coffin. The way they put the fence around is like a coffin. Times like this, I do wish, I guess, I did have a drone, but this is like the only time that I would wish I'd have a drone. Other than that, I'm fine without a drone. But, looks like a coffin, his arms, his head. I'm gonna go back to his head. Oh! He just spiked again. If there's any spirits here, can you light up this K2 meter? Why did you create this? Would you use this uh, to represent? Look at this. This is so, this is so cool. See, things like this, being able to go out and just see see the way that things were created back in the day um like just history wise is like some of the most like coolest things in the world that's like one thing i like about ghost hunting is because you're able to go to places or, or you know see things or or speak to spirits or I get answers from them and it's from the past it's like it's just it's just very interesting so look at this look at his head his body. That's just so cool. Is there any spirits here that want to light this K2 up? Let us know you're around. We might try to hurry up and get to this spot before the sun goes down. The sun's already at horizon. Going down past the the mountains right there. So I'm gonna try to maybe hopefully because the other spot before it gets too dark. It's a little bit of a ways. You drive kind of slow on this road because there's so many sharp rocks. You don't want to puncture a tire. But if you guys are ever in this this side of a uh, town in California, this, the town's called Blythe, California. You guys should really check this out. It's really cool. Like I said, it's something you never see every day, and it's just part of history. I think we're gonna check out the other one, so uh, see you guys in a bit when we go to the other spot. This one's another, I found the other one. So this one's a little smaller, it looks like. And it says, this one's head also pointing to the south, which makes no sense because I'm pretty sure the other one's that pointing to the south. Nice. This is what it looks like from out in the sky. This one is arm span, uh, 102 feet tall from head to toe, 64 feet wide from left hand to right hand. So, I'm gonna show you this real quick. And then the other one's just right down, like not even a few feet away from this one. Which I think is the animal one. But, looks like people drove through here, look at this. Possibly. Or, and it says it used to have knees and hair on both of the, the men, or the men, the human figures. See, I think this is the hand. They both had hair, but they don't have hair anymore. People will be driving through them and stuff. Look at that, it's so insane. Here's the head. Now tell me that head does not look human. That's the head. How does that look human? Look at this, it's insane. I gotta take a picture of this on my phone.
But yeah, this is the other one, second human figure. This one looks a little more chubbier. Look at his stomach. <laughs> he he's this is probably the king. Or she was pregnant, this is the queen. Let me see if there's any spikes on the K2. Nothing here either. Is there any spirits here that uh, want to communicate and talk about how you guys created this? Or why you created this? Or was this done by the aliens? Nice. That's cool. So this is the very first. This is the first one I guess you see when you come in from the road and you come into the the, um, the area. This is the animal with uh, spiral figures. And there's, as you can tell, there's some, there's a, there's like a six and then there's the spiral over there and it connects to the six. And then there's the animal over there. I'll go over there in a bit. And obviously it's all protected, which is good. Glad it's protected. And this one is, it says the Native American oral histories mention mythological characters that may be represented in the figures you see here. The stories mention the mountain lion who changes into a person and helps the creator with the earth. Some non-Native Americans believe the figure represents a horse, which would date to this, which would date the site to post-Spanish visitations of the area. The animal figure is oriented northwest, southwest, with the head pointing towards the northwest. Uh, it measures 54 feet from head to toe and his body is 7.5 feet wide. The legs measure 26 feet long and at each end of each leg is a small half circle interpreted to possibly represent a paw or a hoof. Below the animal figure is an elaborate spiral figure. It measures 23 feet in length and is oriented north southwest or southeast and has a maximum width of 8.8 .8 feet. One, interpret, one interpretation is that the figure represents a coiled snake. Is a mountain lion battling a snake? Hmm, that's, that's interesting. Let's walk around to the spiral. Makes sense how that could be a snake. That could be like towards the head of it and then the coiled, the spiral part is the coil of the snake maybe. Which is, this is a spiral right here. Looks like it's been damaged over time, which kind of sucks. I wish it wasn't. But there you go. It's cool. It's interesting. And then we're gonna go right over here. Here's the feetsies of the animal. Play the little circles at the bottom. Look at the feet hooves. Or paws. It kind of looks like a dog or like a horse. It does look like a horse with the head. And there's the animal. This is so cool. It has four legs. This guy has a tail too. Very end over there. This was a little chubby guy too. And it looks like a casket still. But they're inside fencing but anyways just wanted to you know record this and maybe take you guys on seeing something like this that you guys maybe have or have not seen before um i know the intro was kind of weird because it's just random and fast so if you guys like the video please like it sub and comment and maybe i'll come back here some other time during the day when it's brighter out or maybe I'll come back here at night and maybe try to go alien hunting or ghost hunting over here because there's a lot of history here just in this this land alone there's history everywhere you are you just got to look for it sometimes and um, yeah so make sure you guys like the video all that stuff and see you guys next time and we're probably gonna go hunting after this so peace out all right guys so we're out here in the desert we're gonna go take a drive to this haunted road the road is called lost lake road it's haunted by two spirits so far that i've read about one is an Indian chief, or Native American chief. He's written as Indian chief back in the day. Uh, he has a headdress on and everything. And when people spot him driving down the road, 
he looks at them, makes eye contact with you, knowing that he sees you. And once he sees you, lets you know that he sees you, he disappears right in front of your eyes. People have said that they drove by and they see him. And as soon as he makes eye contact, he disappears. So we're going to go drive by that road and see if we, if we can see him or not. And also in that area, there's also a woman. And supposedly she was a magician's wife who died. And um, she practices levitation. So she levitates in the middle of the, the desert or behind the trees or something. So we're going to go and hopefully see that. See if we can find her too or try some EVPs and maybe get some voices or something through. So we're going to go drive down that road, step the ways a little bit, and we'll see you guys there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.